Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a little bit of a different uh, video for you. We have a free snowmobile fix-up. So, a guy we just picked up a sled for last week, had this sitting out in the back of his house, and said we could have it if we wanted it. So, couldn't pass that up. It's hard to pass up free stuff. Um, she's a little bit worse for wear. But uh, he said it run the last time he parked it, so um, we'll go ahead and see what we can do. It's mostly just really dirty. Um, it's a 1996 uh, 580 EXT, kind of the precursor to the Powder Special. Um, they're really similar. I don't know that there's a whole lot different to them. It's got what looks to be a nice and dirty inch and a quarter track. Missing bogey wheel, but I think the suspension still works. So that's kind of handy. It is very dirty. It is a very, very dirty machine. Uh, it's going to take a lot of cleanup. So, oh, and for those of you waiting for the Kawasaki Invader, we got the motor on the bench over here. Mostly put back together, but lack of time. Didn't finish it up. So here's our problem child. Always good to throw in more work than I have time for. New projects. We are going to try and track some of the progress on this thing. From getting it into the garage to running. So show you guys you don't have to spend 12 grand on a new snowmobile to enjoy the sport you can do something like this on your own a couple hundred dollars of parts sometimes but uh oftentimes you'd be surprised what these old machines will live through and this is mostly just really dirty everything's there nothing's been removed nothing's missing So, take a lot of cleanup. So this is a fuel-injected 580cc motor. There's the original computer. So provided uh, it works, we don't have to buy a computer for it. Should be off of the races. I actually have a 580EXT seat in one of my storage units and so we're going to go fish that out and see if it's a match now these 580s the seat is actually attached to the fuel tank it's all like one thing and so it's going to have to basically pull the whole thing off of there i don't remember what kind of condition it was in but i remember it wasn't too bad i guess he said the dog decided it wanted to eat the seat and it really ate the seat. It's not just the cover to it. It's it, it's gone, the foam. So I already kind of started vacuuming these running boards because, well, I wanted to get to work, and then I figured I'd share this with you guys. So, yeah. Go ahead and clean this up a little bit and see what kind of uh, surprises wait for us down here in the pit. Stay tuned.
Well, I think she looks a lot better than she did, that's for sure. It's uh, starting to come together. Just needs a really good bath now. But as you can see, she's cleaning up. And I think it can look just great. Just really needs some water sprayed everywhere. and Looks like there's a couple of spots that I still need to hit up, but uh, good and get this washed down and let you guys see what it looks like after a bath, huh? All right, so here's a post-washing update. Didn't really do much to the seat because we're going to go ahead and replace that. Um, it's still got a lot of cleaning to do, but I just really wanted to get a lot of the debris out. Um, I found these inside the wind or inside the uh, clutch area so that's pretty cool we can clean those up paint them put them back and uh, I didn't do anything with the windshield because I didn't want to stuff the hose to the vacuum cleaner in there and scratch a bunch of stuff up so I'll just go ahead and remove the windshield and pull that out won't be too bad but As you can see, it's looking a lot better. It's still not perfect, but uh, a lot of the fire hazard is now gone. A little bit of dirt left down at the bottom that I couldn't get out. There doesn't seem to be very good drainage in this when there's water. It just kind of pools up like a bathtub, but looking a lot better. You can actually see down into things now. The primary clutch is missing the spring, but he told me it was gone, so I'm going to grab one off of uh, another sled, throw it on there. Looks so much better. And uh, it'll only get better with time. We'll just keep cleaning at it and getting all this junk out of there. But it's going to be a runner. Well, we'll find out if we have sparks soon. Got to make sure that the computer isn't good. Three thousand four nine forty three of six oh four. So, well, we'll go ahead and update you guys later on. Let's see what uh, kind of stuff we can do. Got to get a battery. But it looks so much better. We'll pull these off and probably scrub them down and paint them. Okay. See you guys soon.